Quilts are being sent from across the nation to a shop in Placerville as gifts for survivors of the Caldor fire. KCRE3's Aaron Heft was there and his family has picked out a new family keepsake to cherish. There's a lot of love goes into it. Oh, I know. Colorful and ornate. Thousands of stitches later, these quilts are in the hands of people like Kelly DeSalvi and her son, Calvin. We've had a few quilts from great grandparents and grandmas, and they all got lost in the fires. Their family, survivors of the Caldor fire. We didn't know for a couple days if our house made it or not, um, so just the not knowing. Um, but yeah, we lost everything. Months later, finally in a rental home, they now have a new keepsake of their own. I want it to be preserved as well as it can and maybe pass it on to maybe if I ever have children so, so they can have memories of me. These are just some of the hundreds of quilts sent from across the country. Everyone heard about the terrible fires and, and quilters love to help. Gifts to the thousands who lost everything. I think I'm going to get this one. Which is I like this one. Each person like picking their favorite. And my, I had a little cottage that my well, youngest daughter rented, and we just loved it. I was going to do Christmas. It was a chalet. I mean, it was going to be a perfect little, you know, Christmas house. Debbie Godek says she was helping her friend caught in the Dixie fire. Then weeks later, Caldor took hers. It's overwhelming. It's almost overwhelming. It's almost like I'm going to wake up and you know, I'll have my little house and my stuff, you know. She says it was the first home she bought on her own. I'm really, really overtaken by these women and just the community, the support. Her loved ones had this painting made of her little ski-like chalet, something she says gives her hope she'll find another place she can call her own. So someday when I have another house, I'll have that and I'll have this. I love it. Yeah. A new beginning. A new beginning, you're right. In Placerville, Erin Heft, KCRA 3 News. And if you would like to donate a quilt as well, we have a link on our website, kcra.com. Just search for the quilt article on the homepage.